Ogwin from Savannah Land 2. Today I'm joining in the fun with the authentic May Arts and Imagine Crafts blog hop. Be sure to stop by all the blogs for inspiration. I'm sharing a start to finish card today that features all three companies in a bold way. I'll create an ink design and pair that up with some fun stickers and papers as well as some beautiful twine. So to get started, I'm just looking at all the elements that I have together, and I just love these authentic um, stickers and embellishments. And what I like to do is use them in a different way. So I will look at these stickers and find words that I like, or actually right here I realized that the back had a pretty design, so I thought, oh, I might just use that for part of the card. So I took out one of the little embellishments, and I'm thinking about using the oval as the background. I really just love that stripe. And now I'm going to look at some stickers and think about that. And um, now I'm going to get my card together. So I'm using their 6x6 paper pad to make a base. And I really like that paper because it has words as the background. And um, I'm going to use that as my card base. And I've trimmed everything up. I've added it to my card base. And now I'm going to make my ink design. So this is just an inker, and I'm taking a spatula and just smearing it all over the paper. I just love doing this. It's like a bold color, and um, it just matches these papers perfectly. And so now I'm going to trim up all of my pieces, and I'm just going to start working on the card design. Now, these little pieces came from those stickers and the little embellishments, so I've just cut them down smaller. And now here is the large sticker sheet, and just look at how many you get. So many. And I'm just finding different ones that I like. So I'm going to cut out all the hearts, and I'm going to cut out a couple of other pieces. And I like to do this with the sticker sheets because then I can move them around on my card base without actually having them stick there. And you can see that I cut out three together, um, and now I'm just going to cut them apart. It doesn't matter if there's extra around it, because I will peel that off, obviously. <laughs> now I'm just trimming up the little embellishments, and I, I thought maybe the oval was going to look okay, but I think I'm going to use a rectangle instead, and I've trimmed it down to size, and I'm just trimming up the edges to make it look nice. And... Again, I've decided that I'm going to add some pattern paper to the back, and I just love that honeycomb look. And then I decide I'm going to cut that little sticker down. So you can really do a lot with embellishments just um, by cutting them and turning them over and just using part of them. It's so much fun, and it, I love that everything comes in a kit together, so that's super fun. Now I'm just working on my little stickers and embellishments. I thought maybe I would add an, a larger sticker to one of the um, other pieces, but we'll see. I haven't really decided. Sometimes I cut out more than I need and I think about it. And this is a little uh, sticker word sheet. And oh my goodness, so many words you can add to your, your projects. But I ended up thinking about using those little alphas at the bottom and of course, I have to think about everything like 10 times <laughs> before I add it to my project. And now I'm pulling out my May Arts twine and ribbons, and oh my goodness, that twine matches the ink perfectly. And the ink is Lilac Posies, I believe. Yeah, it's a re-inker, and I just love that it matches the twine perfectly, and it matches the papers. It was a perfect match. Now I'm going to pull out my Tuxedo Black irresistible texture spray. This is my favorite thing, um, favorite ink right now, and I'm just putting splatters on my card. Now I'm setting it to the side to dry as I work on my twine. Now, if you follow my blog, you know that twine and I don't get along very often because I have to re-tie it and re-mess with it, but this time I just fold it over a couple of times and I'm like, yeah, I really like how that looks. <laughs> So Twine and I are friends again. And here I'm just adding it to my little um, centerpiece using a glue dot. Super easy. I love that it has a large loop and a couple of pieces at the end. And I'm going to attach one of my sticker words over it 
as a little embellishment. I think it just adds the right touch. And I add it using some glue, and then I'll just press and hold that to help it stay there. And before my ink was dried, I pulled my card over. Thank goodness I didn't get any ink anywhere. <laughs> But I just had to make sure that was the right size before adding my foam. So now I'm just adding my foam, and this is really a quick card. It's going to go quick. I'm going to add my centerpiece, and I'm going to add my embellishments. And it does go quick, it's just I take a little time to just make sure everything looks right. <laughs> but with these embellishments, it just goes so quick. You just one, two, three, add your stickers, add your other pieces, add your twine. Add your ink, and you're done. Really. I mean, I know it looks like I'm taking my time here, but I just add the alphas at the end for my sediment, and the card is supposed to say, remember you rock, you amaze me, and it's perfect literally for anybody. So this is just a fun way to combine all these three um, companies together. I just love it. And I think that's it. That's the end of the card. So... I hope that you will use your Imagine Crafts products and pair them up with some authentic papers and May Arts ribbon and twine for your next creation. For more projects and techniques using Imagine Crafts products, check out Imagine Crafts on Facebook, Pinterest, the Imagine Crafts blog, and at ImagineCrafts.com. Thanks so much for watching.